everybody. Thank you for following through with us in this long three-part tutorial. But now what we're going to do is finish off this three-part tutorial by talking about styles. Now styles can be useful, especially with um, if you're using numbers for, say, your company. Your company might use the same styles uh, for all of its tables across and throughout the whole company. You might use company colors for text, for links, for other things. And so carrying this style and having all these style attributes one click away so that everything is identical is a very useful feature. And that's what we're going to talk about here. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about this. First of all, we're going to use it with our tables the most. So here I'm going to click on a table so that we can start working with it. And just to, so you know, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the inspector palette a lot. So make sure you have the inspector palette turned on, clicking this button over here to toggle it on and off. This is the inspector palette here. And then we're also going to be using these styles over here. Now this pretty much is going to be on. You can't turn this off, but this is scrollable. So I don't know if you have this hid. You might want to pull it up so you have a little more space because we're going to be using this a lot for this tutorial. This and the inspector palette. So first of all, as we got this table selected here, you can, do, you can do this with any example that you have, any spreadsheet. Click on the table, and you can see over here on the styles, we have a whole bunch of styles with some basic um, features. I'm going to click on basic here. We're going to look, this is a basic spreadsheet. You can see here it's got the headers are grayed, the cells are white, and there's a nice thin border, gray border between everything. I'm going to click on this again so we can edit it. This time no grid. Pretty much the exact same one, just no grid now um, in the content area. You can see as we click on this, look how much the table can change by just affecting the styles. Notice how this one ha makes the font quite a bit bigger. And in addition, the headers are the, exactly the same color as the content. So you can see how much these can really change as we click through these. And at the same time, you can see how easy it is to change styles. All you have to do is make a style over here in your styles palette. And then with one click, you can change the entire style of any table. Look, if I click on this one, I can make both of these identical so they look like they match and they correlate with each other by two simple clicks. Now the question comes up, what if you want to change these? What if this style is close to what you want, but not quite there? Well, that's what we're going to talk about now. So let's say you've got, let's go back to this ledger. This ledger was good. We're using it for both of them here. But let's say I want to make the borders here in the content, right now they're very light, and I want to make them a little bit um, darker, a little more prominent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got my ledger, it's already selected in the ledger, and I'm just going to start from these options, because I like most of the options, and I'm just going to tweak it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the knowledge I already have, as we talked about in the previous tutorial, about adding strokes and borders for cells. Highlight all these cells here, come up to my table. And here we have our cell borders, so I'm going to click all the inside ones. That's what we're going to be affecting. And then here I've got my stroke. I'll make it a little bit thicker. Actually, I'm not going to make it any thicker. I'm just going to make it a little deeper color. So I'm going to come here, make the color a little more darker. Sorry, a little darker. And I think that's good there. And now I'm going to click outside. So now it stands out just a little bit more. It's a fine, very, very small tweak. Maybe I'll make the I'll make the stroke a little bit thicker to make it a little easier for for you guys to see that are watching this on a lower resolution uh, video. And we're gonna bump this up. Actually, let's go to three just to make it really easy. And I'm gonna click outside now. So now I've tweaked the style by making the borders inside of all these cells just a little bit thicker and a little bit darker. So now this stands out quite a bit. And now I've just tweak the style the way I want. Well, let's say now that I want to save this style so that I can use it repeatedly or maybe even copy it over into this table here. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select this table. Now, I need to make sure that when I'm working with this table that I don't just have, like right now, I've just got this one cell highlighted. Cell C6 is highlighted. And if I were to come make changes in here, I, don't, I want to make sure that I'm not just making changes to the cell, but I'm making changes to the whole table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and click in this little square right here. By clicking in the square, I am now highlighting the whole table and not a cell. That is the only way to highlight the entire table without highlighting cells individually. So now I'm going to come over, over here. This is the style I've been using, Ledger. Remember, I've made modifications to this. So I'm going to click here on this drop-down menu and look at the options that I have. The first one we have here is Apply Style. Now this isn't going to do anything in this circumstance because 
I currently have made modifications to this style. Clicking this apply style is exactly the same thing as clicking on these other ones. This is apply style. When I click, I'm actually bringing the apply style function. So I'm applying style every time I click. So when I click here on ledger, I've already applied this style. So therefore doing it's not actually going to change anything. So you'll notice also as I was flipping through these other options here that the changes I made, the modifications I made, carried over into these other um, styles. So even when I'm using these styles where this color is uh, mute, like gray and basic, where they don't use this color, it still carries that color and the stroke thickness throughout all of the options because I made that modification to it. So changing the style at this point only changes the parts I haven't affected. Now the second option on our list is clear and apply style. Now this is where if you were to want to abandon these these modifications I've made, so by default you're just applying the style, but if you actually want to clear all the modifications you made and apply the, this new style, you come down here to the clear and apply style. Now this changes, this removes all the modifications I made and, and applies only this style here without any changes. Another important feature here is set as default style for new tables. By clicking this, all future tables that I make are going to look just like this. Now these are the two options I really want to talk about the most here. The create new style and redefine style from table. Right now what we're going to do is redefine the style from table. And so what you can see here, as I mentioned earlier, we have our style back here. So where it's, uh, if I were to clear and apply style, it's going to clear back everything and remove all the modifications. But what if we want to make the modifications part of the style? Well that's what we do here with redefine style from table. We click on the style we want, make any changes or modifications we want, and then come down to this option here, redefine the style from the table. So it's taking anything that we have here in our table and turns that into the new style. Now I'm going to click that, and you can see now, if I clear and apply style, and you can see now that this is actually, as I click through here, none of the modifications carry over because there are none. This is the new style ledger. So this is the new ledger style, it is now made this way, and we've now saved all the modifications we made into this style. So that's how you can easily take a style that's already made, add modifications to it, and then make sure that those modifications get carried over into every future creation of that style. Now let's say that none of these styles are quite what you are looking for. You want a whole new style, maybe for your company or organization, that's fresh, that's fresh and new. Well, what we're going to do is we can click any of these here and click create new style. Now it's going to bring up this option here, type a name for your style. I'm going to type Matt Coach and click enter. Here we have our style. We have a, a little icon here indicating it's a custom style. And we can go ahead and start making changes. Make changes just like you would make if um, anything else. You can come highlight cells, change the the background. Come here again. Notice how you're just making changes like like you normally would. So here we made our table. You can see we've made the Mac coach. I'm going to redefine style from table. This kind of saves it. It's kind of clicking like clicking save. And now you can see as I start making changes, I can flip through my other styles we have. And I'm going to come back to the Mac coach. And now all of those changes have been made. So now we've created our own style. As I make a new table here, I'm going to, here we go, we added a table, and I'm just going to simply click on Mac Coach to bring up our new style. Look how easy it was. To... Alright, so that's everything you need to know for styles. That's how you can change styles, modify styles, and make your own new styles. Now remember also that in addition to all that, you can manage your styles by clicking on them, coming to the drop down menu. You can also rename them, so I could change this now to Company. And if you're done with it, you can always delete that style from your memory. So you can choose your option down here. I'll go to Ledger and click Replace. And now both of these are changed to the Ledger style, and our Mac Coach style was removed. All right, so I think that covers everything you need to know about styles, and also completing our three-part tutorial.